Hey Internet, welcome to Thermodynamics Tutorial 5-8E. The E represents English units. This is an imperial question. We have a garden hose with a nozzle filled a uh, 20 gallon bucket. The inner diameter of the hose is 1 inch. It is reduced to half an inch at the exit nozzle. The average velocity is 8 feet per second. We want to find the volume and mass flow rates through the hose how long it takes the, to fill the 20 gallon bucket and the average exit velocity. Step 1, draw your free body diagram, your FBD. You get a point for drawing a picture related to the question. It also helps if you add in some dimensions if possible. Step 2, find the density of water we're going to assume that it's just your ambient temperature. So the density of water will be 62.4 pound mass per foot cubed. You can find this table at the back of your textbook. If you bought the PDF, you can use your search function, control F, type in table A-3E. Okay. Step three, find the volume flow rate your V dot, which is equal to the area multiplied by the velocity. So for your area, it is pi multiplied by your diameter squared divided by four multiplied by your velocity. So the constants remain the same. The diameter is one twelfth of a foot, which is one inch and we have it in feet because it will be the units that we use for the volume flow rate. And of course we've got eight feet per second. So having the feet match the units help. So the volume flow rate is 0 0.04363 foot cube per second. Step four, find the mass flow rate M dot, which is equal to Density multiplied by volume flow rate. Density is rho, this symbol. V dot is your volume flow rate, which you found in step three. Multiply the two values, you will get 2.72 pound mass per second. And that answers section A. Step five, find the time to fill a 20 gallon bucket. So delta T is equal to the volume divided by the volume flow rate. So V divided by V dot. You've got your 20 gallon that's given in the question. Your V dot is what you found in step three. You also multiply by the conversion factor. That'll give you 61.3 seconds or one minute and one second to fill the bucket. And that answers section B. Step six, find the exit velocity. So V exit velocity is equal to the volume flow rate divided by the exit area. So V dot is what you found in step three. Once again, it's this value over here. The exit area. So we're still using the area of a circle and it is half an inch, so it's 0 0.5 divided by 12 feet. And it is also squared, multiplied by pi, divided by four. And you'll get 32 feet per second as your exit velocity. So note that the velocity is inversely proportional to the square of the velocity. What does that mean? So basically it means that when you half your diameter, your velocity becomes four times the speed. Okay, disclaimers, the method is correct. However, I do make calculation mistakes. I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell turn on all notifications, leave a comment below if this was helpful, 
Until next time, see ya.